Hi everybody, welcome to Heat My Shorts. Here with another hot sauce review for you today. Hanging out with Maggie, sitting on the couch, just taking it easy. Actually, to be honest, she's kind of using most of the couch. She's got a little spot there for me. But anyways, today we're going to do a hot sauce review. Another one from Growing Grices down in North Carolina. Now this is actually the last product in our gift package from... Silver Creek Pepper Company. They graciously sent up some extras just to spread the word in the community of products that they really were passionate about. So today we have Mango Reaper Madness from Growing Grices. Um, really cool label. It's got a very similar, well, similar idea to the label as their um, their other one, the Nicole's Garlic Jalapeno. How it's a, like a die cut, just a cutout logo and um, you know it's very simple on the front there's like you can see through the middle of the um, what I assume is the the mango and the reaper pepper there on a single vine together and I think that's a really cool concept um, really cool simple label and then on the back they have their company label with the ingredients list and uh, and their Facebook page which I will of course leave a link to that in the description box down below um, the Grice family on Facebook. So here are the ingredients in this sauce. Yellow reaper peppers, mango, garlic, onion, yellow tomato, yellow bell pepper, xanthan gum, honey, salt, pepper, vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and water. It's a really nice list of ingredients. I guess xanthan gum from what, what sorry, xanthan gum is uh, used as a thickener from what I understand. Seems to be a popular thing used in sauces as a thickening agent. Um, really nice color. It's like a golden brown, almost a yellowish golden brown to this color, to the sauce, sorry. Um, you can see little bits of things in there, little bits of peppers and of onion and tomato and garlic. And um, it seems to be a very finely pureed sauce, really nicely, like, silky looking texture in there. Runs fairly nicely in the bottle, almost like an oil. I really dig the look of this one. We've had this one on the shelf for a little while, and um, we've kind of been spacing out the, um, you know how I like to do it, I like to space out the, the reviews so that I'm not reviewing everything from that care package at one time. I like to, you know, keep people coming back and keeping an eye out for those reviews. So anyways, um, got, grab out my pocket knife here and remove this uh, shrink wrap off of the bottleneck here. It's actually, actually I didn't talk about that. It's got a, a nice, a nice shrink wrap on it. Nice classy flat black and it actually does have the pull tab, but I don't, I don't usually bother with those because that leaves the bit on the, the bottleneck here. It'll leave that behind and I like to clean that right off of the bottle. Personally, I, I like the clean look of a, of a free bottleneck, you know, with no label on it. I just think that looks a lot better. You can see your sauce a lot more in the bottle. That, that way you can see the consistency a lot better. And it just looks cleaner. Um, I'll be honest with you. That's a, a habit I picked up from Johnny Scoville. And I agree with him. That he's, he mentioned that on a on a, a video. And I, I had been removing them here and there. But it's just it just made me realize it just it looks better. And I agree with that. Um, so anyways, let's give this a nice shaky shake. Make sure we get that all mixed up nicely in there. I know this is going to be delicious. Their, uh, their other one that I did, the Nicole's Garlic Jalapeno, that one was delicious too. That sauce is long gone. But um, if you didn't see that review, make sure you go back and check that one out. Um, I guess at this point now that there's more than one of them, I can make a, a Growing Grice's playlist on the channel so now I can just link a playlist at the end of this video and you can go right to the other one right to the Nicole's garlic jalapeno so of course I'm not going to be tainting this sauce I'm going to be using my Johnny Scoville mother of pearl hot sauce tasting spoon you can get that from johnnyscoville.com or deathnuts.com and you won't be altering the flavor of your sauces um, highly recommended totally worth it just realized I didn't bring a splat a sp a spill guard for pouring the sauce. I see something. There's a bill on the table here. I'll use that. I don't mind if I spill a little bit of hot sauce on the bill, but I don't want to spill it on the carpet. So let's open this up. It does have a flow restrictor, which I will be removing. 
we don't need no FR, right, Charlie Mullins? Sorry, I kind of slurred there. Charlie Mullins. That's a, a Charlie Mullins saying on this channel. We don't need no FR, flow restrictor. Um, let the sauces flow. So let's give this a pour. Move this back a little bit. So it's actually doing something if I spill. I'm not gonna spill. Hope you're all having a great day today. It's been rainy this morning. I was kind of up in the air of whether I wanted to do this review inside or outside, but the weather's been too unreliable today. I didn't want to set up and then have to just bring everything inside in a panic. Actually, I hit all the pepper plants in a panic. I should put them back out in the sort of sunshine out there. So let's give this a try. From Growing Grices in North Carolina, this is Mango Reaper Madness, sent up by our friends at Silver Creek Pepper Company. Keep my shorts. Whoa, that's delicious. The, very, the first thing I taste is the honey. That's very interesting. Because honey is one of the last ingredients, you know, before the salt and pepper and vinegar. It's the first thing I taste, and it's the... It's honey forward. It's got a nice sting. Not overpowering. It's really good. It's, the honey flavor in it is absolutely delicious. What are you sighing about, Maggie? I'm not sure if you can hear her back there, but she's making all sorts of huffy puffy noises. I didn't actually go show you a close up of this. Look at that. Is that not a beautiful looking sauce? It's like oily like honey. Yeah, it's like it's like a I said it was like flowed like a silky hunt like a oil in the bottle. Yeah, it's silky but looks like a honey. Tastes like a honey. I'm starting to taste more of the more of the yellow bell peppers as I become more acquainted with the sauce. I'm getting the garlic and the onion. And I am getting that super hot pepper flavor. I'm not familiar with a yellow reaper. I have tasted a few red reapers, but never a yellow reaper. Wow. Not getting very much of that vinegar at all in this. It's very, mm, just like a delicious honey. I want to say a wildflower honey butt, honey butt, <laughs> I want to say it's a, like a wildflower honey. I am not a honey expert though. This is delicious. I am not a hot sauce expert either, but this is delicious. If you have not tried, you know what, actually, yeah, I'm not, I'm going to taste, get another, uh, I'm going to take another spoonful of this. I just realized. I wasn't, um, I wasn't watching for the mango flavor at all. That's definitely contributing to that silky texture in it, I would say. Yeah, there is mango in there. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously there's, there's mango in there, but I am picking it up. Now that I'm, it's subtle, but now that I'm consciously looking for it, I am picking up the mango. Yeah, mango honey. This is really good. It's amazing how the the honey flavor really shines through on this sauce. This is delicious. This is a great sauce. It's got a good sting to it. I haven't talked about the heat yet. I'm also blocking Maggie. Maybe I should have a seat. I'm done, now done tasting this delicious sauce. So let's have a seat with this doggy. We'll talk about the heat a little bit. Um, sorry, Maggie, did I scare you? Um, on my heat scale, I'd say I'm at a three out of 10 right now. Um, I have been back on the tincture a little bit, so 
I'm sure that's increasing my tolerance a little bit because it was dropped. It was very low. Um, the sting is a little bit, yeah, on, on, my, on my tongue and down the throat. Not much anywhere else in my mouth. I can feel it down, down in my neck and in my chest, uh, not burning but warming me up. Um, if you were new to eating spicy things, this could be... Hmm, a 6 or a 7 out of 10 maybe? It's hard for me to say, but I would guess maybe a 6 or 7... Maybe even an eight, 8 out of 10 if you really don't do well with spicy foods. It's got a really delicious flavor. You're definitely going to get that honey flavor in it. Um, as far as what to do with this, I think it's got a lot of options. I think it's got a lot of possibilities because it's, you know, it's a sweet honey sauce, honey garlic. I think it would be great. Oh, it'd be great in a marinade. It'd be great as a salad dressing itself. Um, other than that, I'm honestly not really sure. Probably be good on tacos, like fish tacos. It'd probably be really good on fish tacos. Um, chicken wings. Yeah, this would be good on chicken wings. It, um, I think it'd stick all right. It's not, not super runny, but I think it would stick all right to the chicken wings. Pardon me. Can we call that a pepper burp? Excuse, excuse me either way, pardon me. Um, this is really good. I really recommend this sauce. I really liked the garlic jalapeno one. And I, I don't want to say I like this one even more, but this one has really wowed me. For something, something that has the honey so far down on the ingredients list, it really shines through nicely. And I'm sure it's probably taking away a lot of the sting from that yellow reaper pepper, which is the first ingredient in there. Um, I like it a lot. I really dig this. Thank you very much, Rachel and Megan, for sending this and all of the other amazing gifts. Silver Creek Foxy. That's what we call this, Silver Creek Foxy. Um... You are wonderful. We appreciate all of the support and encouragement, all of your kind words, um, everything you've done for not only this channel, the Heat My Shorts channel, but so many of the channels. We see you all over the place just spreading positive vibes and support and encouragement. That's so wonderful. You're such wonderful people, and we all really appreciate that so much. Um, oh, yes. Um, as far as the... Growing Grices, their two sauces that we've tried are both excellent sauces. Uh, depending on where you are at in your journey through the Scoville scale, um, you probably will like both of these sauces. Um, the other one is more of an entry-level jalapeno, you know, not super hot sauce. This one is warmer, but it's still very, very enjoyable. This is pr proof that a hot sauce can be delicious as well because this isn't rip your face off hot but this is a hot sauce you know this has yellow reapers as the first ingredient i really really dig it so again shorts are falling down i'm not wearing my belt my apology for that that's actually really embarrassing to me when i go back and review my videos and see that my uh boxer shorts are hanging out of my uh jean shorts my apology for that i try not to do that Sometimes I get all caught up in making the video though. Um, that's another thing I want to talk about. I am having so much fun making these videos. I almost, when I finish filming a video, I take a look at my lineup of sauces and products to review and I almost just want to go straight back to filming another review. I, I just want to power through all of these products and review everything because I have so much fun doing this and um, talking to this camera is talking to all of you. And that's therapeutic for me. I really enjoy that. I don't get to see co-workers at work because I'm not able to work a job. So doing this is like hanging out with my co-workers. Um, we're in this heat community together. Camera's getting a weird <laughs> glow there. Um, but I just appreciate all of you so much. I appreciate everything that all of you have done. And everything from 
poking in on a video for a couple of seconds to subscribing, liking, commenting. Um, you don't have to be sending gifts for me to appreciate you. I love all of you. You are such wonderful people. Um, you make this community go around. Like you, you make this commu community expand and so enjoyable. And uh, I'm so happy and so honored to be a part of this community and to be accepted into it. And uh, we're going to keep this going. I'm going to keep doing this. Um, I think February will be a year of doing these videos. I'll have to look at the date. But um, David Martin, the Pepper Apprentice, just passed his one-year channel anniversary, and that's so exciting. I'm gonna go for one year. I'm gonna keep going for two years, and I'm gonna keep going with this. This is this this is what I do now, and I love it. I'm so happy with it, and I'm just gonna keep getting better at it, um, more comfortable with it, um, a more refined palate for tasting these things, a higher tolerance. I'll get better at growing peppers. I'm so excited for this journey. This is, it's only going to get better. This is just the beginning. I hope you realize that. This is only going to get better. Um, this is the Heat My Shorts community. This is what I do every day, and I love it. I'm so thankful for every one of you. Have a great day, everyone. Make sure you check out the Grice family, Growing Grices. Check out their sauces. Make sure you check out Silver Creek Pepper Company. Make sure you check out Chase the Heat, Blazing Foods, Death Nuts. Make sure you check all of that out. Um, Hell Garden. I shouldn't be. St I shouldn't start naming them because there's honestly so many companies to name. Um, Taos Hum. I should. I should not name all of them. <laughs> um, I can't name all of them, especially off the top of my head. And we don't want to be here for another 15 minutes. Um, thank you all. I appreciate all of you. Fresh is best is another one that I have to mention. I haven't been in there for quite a while now. Need to get back in there, even just for a visit. Have a great day, everyone. I love you all. This has been Heat My Shorts with Maggie and Steve. Bye-bye.